Can we make a braguette with children beer? Hello and welcome back to German Brew. Today we try a braguette, but we starting not with brewing a beer by ourselves. We're using this kind of drink. It calls here Malztrunk, before it called Malz beer, so malt beer. It a children drink or also it will be uh, in the commercial they said good for sport because it has a lot of nutrients inside is water malt sugar and sugar uh, color so coloring yeast maybe will not like it so much um, we will try I want to try it it will be um, if it will be good. Um, here's no hops inside, but I hope it's still a braggart. What is a braggart? A braggart is a beer with honey in it. Inside here is 7.6 grams sugar. So I can calculate with this. I might put more uh, honey inside and maybe we get a good gravity. And we're using for this, again, our old Polish meat, because I know this stuff Starts really fast because of nutrients inside it and powerful. So we give it a try again. I give it some nutrients extra. First, we need our funnel, we need our container, and our six bottles here. Um, I will start with five bottles. Uh, also, I need to get out the CO2 because the yeast will not like the CO2. That's shot, I love this because I love the malty taste. Um, today also when beer I like more the black beer so that's why I also try this okay I heat the malt beer in the background um, I don't record it but I also calculate we have now around about 200 190 I wanted 300 gram sugar of the honey that means because honey has 75 grams in 100 gram liquid so we need around about 400 gram honey. So let's start. I have here 400 milliliter from my liquid here. So I hope I can get the honey inside here. We start here with this glass. Ah, almost 200 gram. And then we get 200 also from this glass. You can see here the honey was not so long in the hot water. And also it's a little bit crystallized. That's no problem. Okay, then this are around about 400 grams. The liquid is warm, so you can see it's nice volume. So, this one is now a really, really sweet liquid. Okay, oh, it's so hot warm and I need to put the yeast. The yeast said it's like temperature 28 degrees for pitching. It's 35, 36. What I already can put is the beehive, the extra nutrients. It's the yeast left over from brewing beer. I can wait, but what I can do already is taking a reading. So we know the start gravity, 1.07. It will be a braggart, but how it will taste. Because it's not a really good start for the yeast, we have no oxygen inside. Part of CO2 still left. I check it a little bit more so I get some CO2 out. It's now the right temperature. I don't know how much left. 40 gram was inside. Maybe I... Normally I make always two spoons, I, th I think. I think I will put two teaspoons. One, two. Okay, three. This is how you make it when you know it will be a stormy fermentation with a lot of foam. You just put a tube and put this tube in a glass of water. No things can go inside and you are safe, your brew is safe. We will see when it will start and how stormy it will start. I'm sure tomorrow morning I know. I will put this on my shelf now and then I need to wait. Again, our braggart. Um, you see it's still bubbling, um, I think it's degassing, but there is still some activity inside. But I have a problem, I need this fermenter for my next brew. So I thought I will try to get all the yeast with me 
in the new fermenter and so we will wreck it today but complete just fill it inside here. Yes, you can ask why you don't make it first in this one, um, because I thought already my other brews are done, but they're still not done. They still clear, um, clearing out and yeah, the cold crushing also don't work. So this one comes here inside. We will use the airlock of course in this fermenter, cleaning everything and then I will make the next brew. Oh, okay. That uh, not so pleasant smell. I thought it will be more nicer. Uh, it smells a little bit footy, but maybe it will be good. Everything is clean again. We will just wreck it and um, I will see that I get a lot of yeast with me. It starts really well because um, it don't start so stormy like I thought. And it flow. Yeah, there is a lot of gas that's not smelling well. That's a problem if you're fermenting normal sugar. Sometimes you get the not so pleasant odor. We also will try. Maybe that was not the smartest idea to put it with the, all the yeast. This rest we still can put inside. Okay, everything is in the new fermenter. Like I said here, a little bit more than 3 liter. And now, with the action I already degassed it a little bit. Now, there is no oxygen inside anymore. I'll make a lot of mess, I need to clean it in a moment. But I will not clean it now. Can I use this one as measuring? Why not? Okay. Um, yes, I put get some from the table. We will see first. 1.030 um, We started the last time, I clear a little bit and I bring my um, paper where I write the last time. We started on the 13th of February and today is the 19th of February. When you're smelling clothes, it smells like a black beer. And I like black beer. So, um, we have a zero 0 0.04 less now, but I know normally they become almost dry then. So we talking about maybe five to nine percent. I think more nine percent because I think it will be dry. But I know it in a moment. Maybe there's sugar inside. Maybe not. Um, I know the um, old Polish meat yeast is really really fast and. Okay, when the smell of the footy is uh, away, you can smell really just black beer. Now a little bit cloudy, of course, we might get a lot of yeast inside, but yeast is healthy, so let's go. Whoa! That will be come a really great beer. I think we can back sweet a little bit. It tastes like a uh, black beer from the Czech Republic I drank before. If there was a not the smell, I can drink it right away. I will not put more honey inside because I wanted to make it sparkling. I never thought it becomes so good. One eternity later. So our Brigid is done. It's uh, completely done. The last time I tried it already and I think it was done. Oh, it smells so good. So. It smells like fruity honey. But it also has still the food smell like I said the last time. Uh, what we want to do today, we will bottle it and also we will uh, put a little bit honey in it because I want them carbonated. Um, the bottles are already in my bag. 
um, you can see them because I'm in front. And then we will put them inside and uh, wait until they're carbonated and then we can drink them. So maybe one week or something. I use plastic bottles. I also know this plastic bottles are good for alcohol. I know this plastic bottles hold uh, carbonation because they already the drink was carbonated. So we will use them. Um, we have some low yeast cake here. So of course we try to not get it with the liquid. And this comes inside here. It's, everything is again cleaned. I don't sanitize, you know, but but I also have some um, sugar wine I make, and this one is perfectly um, still after more than one year. I calculated. I calculated with 2.5 liters, maybe it's a little bit more, um, and it just said I just need uh, 16 point thing, something gram honey to recarbonate it to the level I like. Um, I think it's a little bit low. I will make 20 grams and then I'm sure we're okay. Uh, also, I'm not thinking the bottles become bottle bombs because you need a lot of pressure um, to get one of this to explode. This is the rest. Yeah, there is some yeast down there. It's funny. It also smells a little bit like um, uh, Guinness. So, you see I get some of the cloudy stuff. Um, maybe it don't taste so good, but we try it again. Um, the last time it tasted really good, but now I saw no carbonation anymore and um, I think it needs carbonation. I also read and everyone write my braggart always carbonated and I don't know how to carbonate it without uh, carbonation, natural carbonation. It tastes like a really good Guinness. Just flat. It have a little bit more fruitiness in the taste, but the first Guinness, the first to taste, it is a Guinness. You 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 can taste it. Um, so now I know how to make Guinness. <laughs> uh, next time, just without honey, then I have a Guinness, and it's still sweet. I don't know if I get carbonated. I think I will risk it. I don't know if it's sweet or not. It's so complicated because you don't taste sweet, but you taste fruitiness, malt. Um, it's difficult to say. I put inside the 18 grams of honey. I, of course, there's a funnel. So, 18 gram of honey. I use this one. So, that's not much. They really said this is enough honey for carbonating. Okay, yes, they said this is the right amount of honey. Um, okay, I just believe them why the app needs to lie at me, just a little bit honey. Um, so, now we have alcohol inside, everything inside and I don't know how to dissolve the honey inside there. I think this works. One eternity later. Okay, I have all the bottles here. This one is new and clean. I dissolve almost the complete honey. And then we can bottle. Mm. 
We have five full and one almost full. It's here. So not bad. Um, now wait until it gets some pressure or not. If not, we have Sweet braggart without gas. So, almost one of us is over when we start to bottle this. The braggart. And now the bottle is hard. We already have some carbonate. We have a lot of carbonate. And we will try it today. So, let's see. Yeah, there is carbonate. This looks like a really good beer. That's a lot of carbonate. Is this a bracket? bracket? That's nice. Hmm. But the foam is not really stable. Not like in a beer. Okay, let's see. Um, it smells like, it smells like a fresh cider, that's new. The last time it uh, tasted like a flat Guinness and now it's so much sparkling. Wait. Is it perfect? That sparkle, so let's try. Oh, and make it really fresh. That's good. How much alcohol is inside? 8%. Like a strong beer. You still can um, taste the honey, but it's more like a Guinness. It's really like a Guinness. That's good. Break it. Everyone who likes black beer will love it. So try it. Use alcohol free children drink and make the best beer you ever drink. Okay, maybe not to ever drink, but it's really good. It's really good. And a lot of alcohol. I don't even cool it. It's just room temperature. That's good. So, that's our bracket. I hope you like our bracket. If yes, maybe you like my other videos also. Here you can see them. Here one YouTube thing you will like. And here you can subscribe. There you can subscribe. And of course, um, the bell icon. Because then YouTube give you every video I upload. And of course, please write in the comments. We see you the next time. Bye.